I still to this day find it absolutely amazing that whether it be pastors or politicians or whatever the case may be, religious leaders, people in the news, journalists, yada, yada, yada. No matter how much research is done, proving that video games are not detrimental to human beings, that they still say that video games are detrimental to human beings. I, I just don't, when there's evidence, concrete evidence, studies that have been decades long, or a decade long, I should say, proving that video games do not cause harm to people, people will still say, yeah, there's research out there, but you know, I don't give a fuck about any of that. I don't care. Who gives a shit about actual factual evidence? I'm smarter than that shit anyway. Well, anyway, there's a pastor named Gene Lingerfeld, and he is from the Faith Christian Center in Arlington, Texas. And of course, he went after video games and basically called any man over the age of 18 a loser for playing them. Actually, he literally did call them losers. This is some of the stuff that he had. There was a video up of him actually saying this, but it's been taken down. Of course, of course. He's also been known to say stupid shit on Twitter and take it down, which I'll read you uh, some of those tweets in a minute. But they were the, the article have from opposingviews.com. They did actually catch some of what he said in his video, and they have some quotes here, which I'll read to you now. And he begins with talking about the Xbox. And don't even get me started on the Xbox and all of that. If you have calluses on your thumbs, you're a loser. If you're more than 18 years old and you're still jacking around with that stuff, I curse the spirit in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yeah, he actually said that. Let me continue. There are young girls in this church. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful young gals. And you know why they can't get a date? Because that retarded spirit got into young men. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Dude, I'll, I'll tell you something right now. All right. If there's a guy out there who rather play video games than get some ass, get, get some vagina, there's other things going on besides the video games. The other, there's other issues in his life because I know many people that are my age, younger and older, that game, and a woman would come before video games any day of the week. So, nice try. But now, here's the shit kicker. This is what this pastor told the women in his church to do if their husbands or significant others game. Just listen to this. Some of you women, you have my permission. Blame me. He comes home. I'm talking about your husband. He comes home, and that's gone. He's talking about the Xbox. And don't just throw it in the trash. He'll go fish it out. You got to put it in the bathtub full of water before you throw it in the trash. But of course, for the pastor, safety comes first because he ends. He says this. Now, don't do that while it's plugged in. Oh, God. Oh, this guy is a whole new level of fucking stupid. Now, Pastor Lingerfeld is known for being a piece of shit on Twitter where he'll say uh, very outlandish things and, and very stupid things. And then later we'll take the tweets down. But luckily, people watch everything he does and saves those tweets so we can know how much of a fucking moron he is. Um, I'm going to read you some of the more colorful ones that were saved from the pastor. This one is actually talking about President Obama. Here he goes. The shutdown is what America gets for twice electing a petulant child Marxist drama queen for president. And he says, yes, I use queen on purpose. Talking about President Obama. Another colorful tweet here is with federal government shutdown. Does that mean that my tax dollars will stop being sent to hashtag Planned Parenthood hashtag terrorists? Oh, God, he really went there. Really? And last but not least, there's other tweets here that were saved. I'll have a link to the article below in the description. But this one is just like fucking over the top. Uh, With federal government shut down, does that mean the Department of Education will have to stop making homosexual porn flicks? Oh, God, this guy is a whole new level of fucking moron. Unreal. How many more times are video games going to be attacked? Video games are nothing more, Pastor, than a form of entertainment, like people that listen to music, like people that watch TV, like anything else. As long as it's done in moderation, there's nothing wrong with it. I uh, highly doubt. Oh my God, it was such a fabricated fucking bullshit thing he was saying. I highly doubt that insanely attractive women are sitting in your church because of the fact that there are significant others are playing video games or grown men 
are playing video games instead of trying to get laid. I assure you that is not happening. And like I said earlier in this video, if it is, there's something else going on with those dudes. You know what it is with guys like this is that they see the stereotype or they remember back in like the 80s, you know, in the 90s when we because video games have grown with my generation. I'm 34 now, you know, and I was like the first generation to have video games since birth. Okay, because I've, I've played the Atari 2600, the Coleco. I'm an old ass motherfucker. But he probably looks back and like, oh, yeah, those youngins playing that that Nintendo, that Nintendo, that uh, Nintendo entertainment system. And they're still in their 30s and 40s doing that. I don't understand this. This is insane. They need to grow up and move on from it. But what he doesn't get is that the medium, the, the, the form of entertainment has grown with us. Okay, we're the adults now. We're still gaming as adults. That's why you get games like I'm going to pick up Doom in a few minutes. I got it for the PC, too. I also got it for the PS4 so I could play with you guys. Um, you know, there's other games like The Last of Us. The games are maturing with the audience because, like I said in our previous videos from a long time ago, that there's more adults that play video games than children. Instead, Nintendo still hasn't caught on to that, but uh, everyone else seems to have, have caught on to that. And this guy, this pastor, hasn't caught on to it either. So he has that stigma in his head. He, do he doesn't enjoy video games personally. He has that stupid fucking stereotype. So, you know, who cares about all the facts, how video games, there's more adults that play, that video games don't cause people to be violent, that video games don't keep you from paying attention to your significant other. Who You know, there's things to prove that. Oh, proof? Proof and studies and statistics? Pah, I'm a pastor. I'm going to denounce video games in the name of Jesus. Fuck you, dude. You're an ignorant piece of shit. And I proved it too with those stupid ass tweets you had. What scares me about guys like this beyond gaming, and, and, and it's true for people in positions of power across the board, is that they can make up their own rules. They can make up their own facts, which are bullshit. They aren't facts, even though there's things to prove them wrong. And people gobble up what they say and listen to them, whether it be politicians, whether it be pastors, whether it be priests, whether it would be presidents, dictators, prime ministers. They, they, if a person has the right charisma, you can make them swallow anything you're trying to verbally feed to them. And that scares the shit out of me. And he's going to have a whole bunch of people now thinking that video games are the devil and Jesus does not want you to play video games. Every time you pick up your controller and play Halo, Jesus is crying. And we all know that's the biggest load of bullshit that we've ever heard. This is Richard Review Tech USA signing out. Have a good one.